peasant revolt under crown under this topic we are going to see about the indigo revolt which took place in the year 1859 and deccan riot which took place in the year 1875 now let us see about what is meant by this indigo revolt nowadays we have synthetic dyes that is before the introduction of the synthetic dyes natural dyes was highly valued by the cloth makers around the world dye is a coloring agent which is most commonly used in textile industries so before the introduction of this synthetic dyes natural dyes were used these natural dyes are obtained from the indigo plants and it is very expensive so the european officers in order to earn money they wanted to become indigo planters they appointed peasants in india to plant the indigo crops the peasants were also forced to grow only the indigo crops and they were restricted to grow the food crops so many europeans employed peasants in india to grow the indigo crops which was then processed into dye at the planters factories the dye was then exported to europe the peasants in india were forced to grow the indigo crop the british planters gave the peasants a cash advance which helped them to pay for the land rent and other purpose the british insisted the peasants to repay this advance money after the cultivation along with interest at the end of the season the planters that is the british officers paid very less amount to the peasants this amount was not enough for the peasants to repay their debt that is the advance amount along with interest so the, so therefore the debt the burden of the peasants increased but the british without any courtesy they again asked the peasants to plant the indigo crops the peasants were never able to clear their debts so at last the debts were often passed from father to son indigo revolt began in the year 1859 the rebellion began in naida district in bengal in the naida district the peasants refused to plant the indigo crops the movement quickly spread to other indigo growing districts of bengal the revolt then turned violent the peasants both hindu and muslim participated in the revolt even the women participated actively in the revolt indian journalist in calcutta wrote article about the arrogant behavior of the british officers towards the peasants Deena Bandhu Mitra wrote a play in the year 1860 called as Neel Darpan which means mirror of the indigo this play clearly elucidates the pathetic situation of the indian peasants and it also describes the scenario under which circumstances the indigo was planted and exported to europe Deccan riots 1875 heavy taxation affected agriculture famine deaths increased due to the scarcity of food the riot was mainly on money lenders the first riot against the money lenders took place in may 1875 in supa village near pune similar riots also took place in 300 villages from pune to ahmednagar The rioting was directed mostly on the Gujarat money lenders. 
under british rule peasants were forced to pay revenue directly to the government also under a new law money lenders were allowed to auction the mortgaged land of the peasants mortgaged means adagu vekkirathu and auction is elam so the peasants used to borrow money from the money lenders by using their land so avangaloda land vandu adagu vechi they are they used to get money from money lenders and if the peasants were unable to repay the money borrowed from the money lenders the money lenders will auction the land so yela vetruvanga and the land so therefore the peasants will lose their land so this is how the land will be transferred from the cultivators to the non cultivating class finally the peasants will be trapped in debts on all sides and finally the peasants will be forced to abandon cultivation the foundation of indian national congress 1870 to 1885 rise of nationalism in the second half of the 19th century a new social class of english educated indians understood the importance of national politics the indian intelligentsia created awareness about nation nationalism and the need of democratic government so this type of spreading the awareness among the people was made possible through the print media the educated indians started to publish the awareness through print media in both vernacular language and in english language vernacular language means the native language of that region since they published the news in vernacular language it was it was able to reach the people more quickly these educated indians were working in various disciplines as lawyers doctors journalists government employees teachers etc they together started many associations like madras native association east india association madras mahajana sabha poona sarvajanik sabha the bombay presidency association and many others economic critic of colonialism the early nationalists were not satisfied with the british economic system because the british used india as a market place to dump their manufactured goods from britain the indians were forced to buy the british goods so all the wealth and money of the indians went into the hands of the british so therefore the indian nationalist formulated an economic critic of colonialism dada bhai nauroji justice ranade and romesh chandra dutt played an important role made an analysis about the colonial economy they clearly understood that the british was rich because india was their slave both economically and politically finally they concluded that colonialism was the main obstacle to the indians economic development colonialism means acquiring political control over another country so because of this colonialism india was economically underdeveloped objectives and methods the indian national congress was formed in the year 1885 in an intention to establish an all india organization group of educated indians were politically active in three presidencies namely bombay presidency madras presidency and calcutta presidency ev hume helped 
and he was the reason of the formation of the congress umesh chandra banerji was the first president of the indian national congress the first session of the indian national congress was held on 28th december 1885 The early goal of the International Congress was to develop a unity among the Indians and to be loyal to British until they achieved their goal. The techniques of the International Congress includes appeals, petitions and delegations to Britain. That is sending an authorized person to Britain to speak on behalf of India. All these were done within a constitutional framework. Now let us see the demands of the International Congress towards the British. The key demands were the following. They demanded for creation of legislative councils at provincial and central level. That is, they demanded to create a legislative council at both provincial and central level, and they demanded to increase the number of elected members in the legislative council. separating judicial and executive functions they demanded for a separate court for the indians reducing military expenditure reduction of home charges extension of trial by jury that is they demanded to reanalyze the judgments with the help of a jury holding civil service examinations in india as well as in england they demanded to conduct civil service examination through which indians can be appointed in government offices police reforms reconsideration of forest laws promotion of indian industries that is increasing the number of industries in india and to put an end to unfair tariff and excise duty that is to reduce taxes and eliminate the unwanted tariff and excise duties so these are the main demands of the indian national congress to uh, towards the british militant nationalism the methods of the moderate leaders failed that is the methods followed by the moderate leaders like uh, giving petitions appeals and uh, delegations to britain all these methods failed because the british they did not change their attitudes towards the indians the indians were still treated as slave and they used india as their marketplace so this method followed by the moderate leaders were greatly criticized by a group of leaders known as extremists these extremists instead of uh, prayers and pet- petitions these extremists also called as the militants they mainly focused on self help that is to fight for what they want